Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome to a tutorial on how you can actually host um, your website. And so then people can actually go to your website domain name or URL and view your really hard work uh, that you put into designing your website. So I have a, a pretty, you know, unique um, HTML website right now. And you can go to different pages, right? Portfolio, team, blog, you know, a uh, bunch of different sections. And I want to put this website on the internet so that people can access it. So how can I do that? Well, what you're going to need to do is go to a hosting service. And the hosting service that I'm going to use in this example is Muffin Man Hosting. Um, so actually, let me go back to my account page. And it, it sort of looks like this. So you want to go to MuffinManHosting.com. And you'll want to go over to the hosting page. And you'll want to purchase one of these three options. Um, I, if you're a student, I highly recommend the Student Muffin Plan Plus Domain. It's $3.99 a month, but they give you a free subdomain included with it. And what that does is it, it stops you from having to go purchase your own. And domains can get very expensive. Um, some of them go for thousands of dollars. So having that free subdomain is really good, and it saves me a lot of money when I'm you know, hosting my websites. Um, so if I go and I click this buy now button, what it'll do is it'll take you back to the account page and it'll make you log in. Um, and then you can go click on this buy hosting button. It'll take you back to this page and you just click buy now again. And then it will take you to the checkout. Um, so I've already done this. So I purchased it. I have my, oh, I have the muffin man plan actually, um, which is this one just cause I needed some more space uh, for what I wanted to do. Um, but you know, if you guys have a small website, do the student muffin plan plus domain, especially if you're a student. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and click on my new plan. This will show up after you've purchased it. So I'll click on it. Um, you can ignore a lot of this for the tutorial that I'm doing. If you own your own domain name and you want to use that, then you should, um, follow the get started video that they put out on what to do with your TXT domain name or domain verification text. Um, that's under resources here and you can click uh, this video to get started with your own domain. Uh, for now though, I'm going to go back to my account and I'm going to click on my muffin man plan. Um, and then I'm going to give it a domain name. So this will be the URL that actually shows up. And so it's a, since it's a free one, um, it ends in dot domains dot muffin man hosting.com. So I'm going to call this like awesome dash site. And so now it's awesome site dot domains dot muffin man hosting.com. And so I'll click claim free domain. And so if you've never, um, heard of a C panel before, it basically stands for control panel and it allows you to do a lot of, um, administrative work on your website. So, uh, you know, the examples that we're going to go over in this tutorial is how to upload your, um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, if you need to do like react JS code, you can do your build, whatever, like it, it allows you to upload those files into a, a file, uh, structure that the web server has, and then it serves those documents um, to your users, aka like your HTML files. So now that I have my credentials, I'm just going to copy these um, and put them in a notepad so that I can remember them. And then I'm going to click this to manager console button. And from here, um, I want to, so now you can see like awesome dash site dot domains dot com is my website. And I get like all these cool features, um, for things I can do to my website. Um, you can see my, my C panel username is something that I'm not going to remember. So I can change it to a, a username that I want, like just for this good example, either username, uh, 23 or something and we'll click submit and this can take a minute as well you know because it is doing something on the server it's um repopulating a few database model mo database fields sorry <clears throat> and so after i'm going to scroll around and, and talk about a few other things before this is done um so the cool thing about the free domain also is you don't have to do anything with dns everything is set up for you i mean email dns whatever um Muffin Man Hosting does that all for you. So you can see your username has been changed. I'll click close. And now you can see my cPanel username is username23. Um, so the next thing you want to do is click this law, uh, to cPanel button. So I'll click here and it'll redirect me to the cPanel login. And I will use my new username, username23. <clears throat> and then I will use my password that was given to me. 
and I will paste it in here. And then I will log into my new cPanel. I'm gonna skip X and skip this. And now uh, the first thing you can actually check out is that it's already routable. So we'll copy our domain name here and we will paste it into our um, site. And you can see that it, it takes us to um, the, the file path in our, our web server. And so this is awesome uh, because DNS can be a bit of a hassle. So the fact that it's done for you is really great. Um, so let's go back to tools. And what you're going to want to look for is file manager. So click on file manager and then you want to double click on public HTML. And Okay, cool. So now that you're in your public HTML fi file um, or folder, sorry, you will want to upload your zipped up um, like website. So let's go and click on the upload button and I'm going to click select file and I'm going to click on my um, website dot zip file and I'm going to upload it. So this contains like your HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And so once that gets uploaded, which is pretty big, um, we're going to go back and we are going to extract your zip file. Close, and we can go ahead and delete the zip file itself. And now let's go into here, and you can see um, here's our HTML pages. Uh, keep in mind, if your home page is going to be called index.html, that's how the web server finds it. So whatever your home page is, the first page you want people to see, make it called index.html, okay? And so now, with all of these things uploaded here, um, I'm going to click select all, which is somewhere, there it is, and I'm going to click this move button, and we want it to be in public HTML, and I'm going to click move files, and now I'll go up one level, and you can see, I'm going to delete the Moderna tab, confirm, and you can see now we have all of our HTML files in here with our assets and our forms, um, and now if we go back to our page, let's hit this refresh button, and you can see, bam, now at awesome-site.domains.muffinmanhosting.com, we get our website. I mean, how cool is that? So now, um, the next thing we want to do is you can see we have HTTPS enabled uh, somehow. Oh, and um, another great thing about the free domain is HTTPS automatically runs. Um, so now you can, you can actually look at that if you go here. <clears throat> and we click on, where is it, SSL slash TLS status. Um, you can see that everything is secured. So that means all of your items are already encrypted the second that you um, register your free domain name. Awesome. So I hope this really helped you guys. Um, it's super easy to get your website up and running. And I hope I demonstrated that in this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.